if there is one event. Miss Sweet 16 is Courtney Nadius. That gets this town to holler. <laughs> cranks up the crowds with horsepower and lets everybody blow off some steam. This is it. Five days surrounding Labor Day weekend, the Old Threshers reunion celebrates all things steam. A parade of piston-pounding pieces of history that changed the world. Giant steam shovels, steamy sawmills, even Stanley steamers. <laughs> and more than 100 activities every day dedicated to ag heritage that always causes a population explosion in this town. Old Threshers is madness. Um, it is the most exciting time of the year here in Mount Pleasant. It's almost like the entire town shuts down so that Old Threshers can run. It's a cross between a big boy toy show and the history of the Industrial Revolution. From tractors that look and sound like locomotives to the ones that took their place. Farmalls, Olivers, and row after row of Deer, Case, and Alice Chalmers. It is a grand celebration. It started in 1950, um, and so it brings folks from all over the world. In 65 years, some have never missed the reunion and the simple story of fire and water brought back to life on these giant threshing machines. Exactly the way it used to be more than a century ago. That story of steam is hands-on in the Old Threshers Museum. This is a steam engine. Um, this was one that was actually could be pulled by horses. Terry McWilliams has some of the biggest engines you will ever see, still churning just like the day they were built. A living history of these amazing machines from the late 1800s when steam powered the world and changed everything. And it just barely fits out the door. A few with wheels eight feet high. And while some, like Case, boasted the strength of angry eagles, this tractor took a rooster along for the ride. It's an Altman Taylor. Um, just like today, most things have a logo. Their logo here was the, the scrawny chicken because their motto was when they're done in the fields, there wasn't enough grain left to feed a starving chicken. Eleven months a year, these behemoths are on display inside, but this is not a normal museum. When you go to most places, you can't touch. We still take our stuff out and play with it, we like to say. It's the old Thresher's reunion. For five days, the entire town blows its staff. You can find galloping ponies on a steam carousel, blacksmiths pumping billows to put a glow on hot iron, and bandits pulling off an afternoon train robbery where the kids end up with the loot so they can spend it on Professor Farquhar's elixir of life. Here's a myriad of disorders, everything from prickly heat to stinky feet. You'll see gas engines, you'll see horses and wagons, antique cars and trucks, crafts, antiques, and my favorite topic is the great food, because it's mostly local church and civic groups with home-cooked food, and I eat my way around the grounds in five days. And we're bringing over 50,000 people to Mount Pleasant, Iowa for that reunion, and um, everybody kind of bands together, but it takes a village to make that happen. A steamy celebration to end the summer, and you're invited. We've got folks that have just find us and say, you know, we heard about this, and we want to stop and see what it is. And we always feel once we get them here once, we'll get them back again. Road tripping and ready for the old Thresher's reunion in Mount Pleasant. I'm Matt Hamill.